Okay, so now we're going to learn how to manage local user accounts on our server. So what we're going to do is we're going to click over here in the bottom left corner on the Windows button, and we're going to go to Control Panel. Next, we're going to click on User Accounts, and we're going to click on User Accounts again. Now let's click on Manage Another Account. Okay, so here we can view all the accounts. So we have a guest account, which is turned off at the at the moment and then we have the administrator account which is this is the account that we set up when we installed the operating system now if we wanted to turn on the account we can select it and we can choose turn on or we can just leave it off okay or we can add a new user account so we'll click down here in the bottom left I'm gonna name this test and I'm gonna create a password it has to be a secure password you can't use a password like test or you know ABCD one two three or something like that it might work I don't think it will uh, and then you need to type in a pass password hint. So I'll just type in hint because I don't really care. I'm going to click next. Okay, so we're going to add the following user. Click finish. And notice it says local account. Okay. Versus local being versus domain account. All right, so now we have the account here. And we can select it. We can choose. We can change the name. We can change the password. We can change the account type, which basically from a standard user to administrator, someone who can make changes to a PC versus someone who can't. Uh, we're just going to click cancel. All right. Or we can click manage another account. So let's go ahead and let's test out our test account. So I'm going to hit right control and delete. And I'm going to select switch user. Okay. I'm gonna hit right control and delete again. And you can see the account appears here in the list. So I'm going to click test. I'm going to type in the password I created for this account. All right, so it brings us to our desktop. So if we click here, we can see that our account is test in the top right. And if we go under control panel, for example, and we'll go to uninstall programs, let's just right click on this and say uninstall. Continue. And you can see that it prompts us under user account control for an administrator password. This is because we created this user account as a standard account, so we cannot uninstall or reinstall programs. Okay, so the standard account is more restricted than the administrator account. So we're done here. Let's just click the start button, select the name and click sign out. Okay, now let's log back into our administrator account. Okay, so this pops back up. So we can see the difference is that this has this is an administrator account and this is not. So if we wanted to change this to administrator, we just click there and choose administrator account. Then it would be able to do all the other functions that the administrator default administrator account can do. Now you could just type in the administrator account password and you would be able to use this account as a standard account. Some uh, some security policies will require you to use what they call elevated permissions and it's where you log into a standard account like our test account and then when you need to do an administrative action you type in the username and password of your administrator account. Okay, Just all options that you have. So let's go ahead and click on the test account and let's delete it. So click delete the account and here we can choose whether we want to keep these files or delete the user's files. And in our case, we don't need to keep any of its you know, favorites, pictures, or anything like that. So we're just going to click Delete Files. And it's going to ask us again, are you sure you want to delete the account? We'll click Yes. Or we'll click Delete Account, sorry. Oops. Okay, there we go. So that's how you manage accounts on Windows Server 2012.